Hi, everybody. Sorry about the low-grade hum in the background. I just happened to have the heat on this morning. All right, so we're working on the fiberglass. What you see here is me putting down a little bit of visqueen, taped down with some painter's tape, as there will be resin everywhere, and that is the easiest way to keep that under control. Just makes a nice little work area, which helps. All right, so we've made the mold in the last video. In this video, you can see we've got some fiberglass cloth out here, and we're going to cover this baby up and get her glassed in. Now, um, the idea behind what I'm doing is I'm basically trying to gift wrap it as cleanly as possible. You could theoretically do this with uh, pieces of cloth, right, separated pieces. Uh, I wanted it to be as, you know, edge free as possible because you know the edge of the fiberglass will always get sticky and pointy and it doesn't want to behave so you know having those everywhere is going to be very difficult so i decided you know let's just make it out of one piece now here's the problem this is so this is basically take one and i can already go ahead and tell you that this thing is crap uh i mean the, the glass layup went sort of okay uh, but the problem is that this is an exact copy of the armrest Right, and so the bottom is flat. You can see. So the bottom is at the, the bottom is actually on the top, and the top is on the bottom. I just have it upside down, because the top of the armrest in real life is very long, so it's much easier to balance on. So the bottom is at the top there, and it's flat. What's the problem? Well, as I've mentioned, uh, composites, glass that doesn't like 90 degree angles. At least not on a male mold. You can sort of force it into a corner. Of, uh, with with vacuum, I could I could theoretically vacuum this on if I really wanted to, but I'm lazy. Plus, I didn't know about it. All right, so you can see me just fiddling there, just trying to get the glass to stay down. I mean, it mostly does, but it doesn't enough. Once we get the mold out, that it's just not worth it. So, all right, you can tell by the shadow we are zooming forward in time, and we're back into the secured. Right, so with that cured, uh, so now we need to sand it. So we're only putting one layer of glass in place. That's to keep it as close to the original shape as possible because, you know, you're going to start adding thickness. So, right, I need this thing to be three and a half inches wide. Uh, right now it's three and three eighths, which is one eighth short. And with all the glass that we are, I mean, with the fairing material and everything else we put on, it's going to wind up being the perfect size. That's why this is the perfect width. So some good news while I'm sitting here sanding. Uh, we had our first board meeting after our re-election. Uh, this year, instead of doing maintenance, I'm now the president of the club. I've been promoted to president, and which is, which is cool because, well, it's different than maintenance. But two, you know, it's, I, I really need to, to train some other people to do this. You know, I, I've been a one-man show for like four years, and... It's not that I didn't do a bad job, but if something happened to me tomorrow, you know. All right, you see how easy it was cleaning up that visqueen and painter's tape? It, it folds onto itself, and half the tape is still sticky, so it just tapes itself shut, and you can throw it away. All right, so we're immediately going into making a new version, because the first one was sized incorrectly. So, okay, here's what I've realized. I have to make my mold bigger than the original armrest. It'll be the same dimensions front and back, and the top will be the same, but the bottom I have to make open-ended, basically. The idea is that this armrest, or at least the first version of it, we're going to make uh, two-piece. So the sleeve itself will be one piece. That's the front and the back and the sides, all one you know cylinder of carbon fiber, very strong. But it needs to be supported by something, and that will be a plate that will be made that will... Uh, connect the fuselage to the armrest. It'll be, I mean, it'll be actually part, it'll be the bottom part of the armrest. And it'll be uh, resined on to the sleeve. It'll be, it'll be very securely resined on to the sleeve. All right, so the next form is glued up and is drying. Just a nice precision cut piece of plywood and three inches of the polyurethane insulation board. In the next video, we're going to cut this down. We're going to glass this. This one actually makes it pretty damn far. So thank you for joining me, everyone. Have a great weekend. See you soon.